Hello and welcome to the Wrap Up Accelerated as we take to the next level, Raceview Network's mission of covering the biggest races and fastest horses. Accelerated showcases only the most important graded events during the sport's three premier race meetings at Los Alamitos, Remington Park, and Ruidoso Downs. Raceview Network also breaks new ground by devoting a series to only tracks with the highest standards in out-of-competition drug testing and other integrity-based practices. On several occasions, RVN will be on location for enhanced coverage of these tracks' most prestigious events. Welcome to a new era in quarter horse racing coverage. Welcome to the Wrap-Up Accelerate. Thanks for joining us for a new season on Raceview Network, I'm Jim Byers. Remington Park's meeting and its lineup of 21 graded stakes is underway. A number of them took place on March 23rd, including the Grade 2 East Tex. It matched older runners at 350 yards. Political attraction drew the inside in his first outing since being the beaten favorite in September's All-American Gold Cup. At even money, he's being ridden by James Flores. The 7-2 second choice is Mistfit, third highest earner in the group at better than $229,000. Trained by Trey Wood, he'll be handled by Ricky Ramirez. Mi Amor Secreto is relatively new to this level, but won an Atacuan Derby Challenge at Ruidoso last year, and later ran second in the division championship. 9-2 third choice Admiral Sting returns for his second start of the meeting, having taken the state-bred Mighty Deck 3 opening night. Jimmy Brooks aboard for trainer Eddie Willis. Also supported at 5-1 is He's Limitless, a qualifier for last year's Rainbow All-American and Texas Classic Derbies, and fourth in the All-American Futurity two years ago. Augustine Silva aboard. They're off for the East X Stakes. Great start for all. Coming away sharply in the middle, Mia Morris Secreto. Born to be bad is right there at the rail flying now. Here comes political traction in full gear farther out. He's Limitless is in it as well. Political Traction turns it up a notch, and Political Traction is going away easily here in the East X. Back in his home state, Political Attraction finishes beautifully under James Flores to take the East X going away over Mia Moore Secreto, and he's limitless. Now trained by Rick Robinson, the Oklahoma bred Political Attraction ups his record to 7 for 15, campaigning in various barns with earnings of more than $338,000. Bred by Ron Lyles, Political Attraction is a four-year-old gelding by Apolitical Jess from the Separatist mare Gunsight Peak, owned by Rogelio Marquez Jr. and Kathy Robinson. His time on the fast track, 17.363 seconds. Also on the Oklahoma Futurity card, the Grade 3 Daqueta for fillies and mares at 350 yards. Two of them shared the bulk of the attention at 5-2 with Curl's Happy Wagon drawing post position six under Jorge Torres. Trained by Stacy Charette Hill, Curl's Happy Wagon was beaten only ahead by champion three-year-old Hot Stepper in the Texas Classic Derby last fall. Number eight, hard to get is the other at five to two. The oldest mare in here at six, she loves the local surface with five career wins and eight tries at Remington. Recently second in Allowance Company, she returns in post position eight for trainer Rick Robinson and jockey James Flores. They're off with the Keta Stakes, slow start for hard to get out quickly. TV Green Bee Candy has the advantage. Here comes Curl's Happy Wagon between them, first and 15. From the outside, Double Eagle trying to make a bait along with Trace Dynasty. And now going to the front, it is Curl's Happy Wagon pulling clear. Curl's Happy Wagon up by length. They're going on in the Keta Stakes. With relative ease, Curl's Happy Wagon strolls to a length victory as Jorge Torres provides just a hand ride. It's win number five and nine tries for Curl's Happy Wagon. She's a four-year-old Oklahoma-bred daughter of PYC Painter Wagon from the Spit Curl Jess Mayor Aya Spit Curl Girl, herself a two-time grade three winner. Bred by owners Michael Pohl and Martin Stacy, Curl's Happy Wagon is trained by Stacy Charette Hill. First of 15, and Trace Dynasty round out the top three. The winner's time, 17.392 seconds. The Wrap-Up Accelerated is sponsored by 
Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, Remington Park Racing Casino, and by American Quarter Horse Association. Saturday's Grade 3 Oklahoma Derby featured fillies in the top two qualifying and wagering positions. Jess proved you wrong when second fastest in the trials, yet was favored at 2-1 to one based on the deeper race record than the top qualifier. A romping trial winner March 8th, she ran third in her restricted stakes last spring in Remington and made the 2018 Remington Park Juvenile. Four to one second choice, Philomena turned in the fastest time from the trials in just her second career start. Now trained by Luis Villafranco, Philomena has post position nine under Manuel Gutierrez. They're off on the Oklahoma Derby. Good start for Terrish. BF Jetta return away sharply. Pops tempting wagon moving on now. The great near the rail. That's Saratoga return. BF Jedi returns. Has the advantage. Here comes our late run now. I just proved you wrong. Going to the front along with America's Dynasty. These two nose to nose on the line. Just proved you wrong by bobbing head. Room was tight and she spotted the field some ground at the start. But just proved you wrong rallies furiously in the final half of this one to get up over America's Dynasty with Terrish third. What a night for winning jockey James Flores. More on him a bit later. It's the first graded win for Just Proved You Wrong, a $33,000 Heritage Place yearling purchase in 2017. The apolitical Jess Philly is out of the Strawfly Special Mare, Oh Strawfly Go. Just Proved You Wrong was bred in Oklahoma by Rex and Sue Cox and is owned by Jose Ernesto Guzman and Rito Sosa. Amanda Tongue, the trainer, the time 17.44 seconds. You're not just my horse, you're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. The Oklahoma Futurity is the annual opener of the major two-year-old races in the country. It's the longest running quarter horse Futurity, contested since 1947, and it's been held in Oklahoma City since 2006. This year's renewal of the Grade 2 at 300 yards led a stakes-heavy card on Saturday and offered a purse of $396,000 plus. The Mike Robbins trainee, always charging, lived up to his name in the second of 12 trials on March 9th, opening up on the field under Stormy Smith in the third fastest time. Bred and owned by Reliance Ranches, this 9-5 favorite is by Coronado Cartel, from the mayor, Charm Dance, herself a $180,000 yearling purchase by Reliance in 2008. Smith in the Reliance black and white silks shares a laugh pre-race with Randy Edison, who had the mount on eight to one shot, Pepper Ryan. This gelding qualified seventh fastest and did it in game fashion, digging in to win a close photo over fellow qualifier, Clean Brew. In post eight is five to two second choice EC Revenge the fastest from the trials for trainer D. Keener, a $25,000 Heritage Place yearling purchase. EC Revenge was a narrow winner of a tough trial that produced three additional finalists, TF Cates TLC, Sizzling Fajita, and R. Relentless. With two stakes wins on the card heading into this one, James Flores has them out. On the outside is Southern Fast Success, who bore out but led all the way in his trial. Ricky Ramirez once again rides the son of cartel success. They were 7-1 in the trial. They're 9-1 in the grade two final of the Oklahoma Futurity. They're off. Good start from the middle of the gate for Pepper Ryan out on the lead. Here comes always charging inside with R Relentless. Outside moving up is Easy Revenge. And a move also from Southern Fast Success. EC Revenge, the top qualifier going to the front. EC Revenge to win it by three quarters of a length in the Oklahoma Futurity. Based on how he finished, EC Revenge could be just fine as the races get a little longer. Under James Flores, he draws off powerfully over a sharp Pepper Ryan with Southern Fast Success third. The winner's time for 300 yards, 15.307 seconds. Trained by Dee Keener, EC Revenge is an Oklahoma bred gelding by He's Relentless. From the Corona Cartel Mare SS Pamela, bred by William E. Smith. EC Revenge earns more than $158,000 for this win alone. His owner is 92-year-old Elizabeth Logan, a newcomer to racing but not to horses in general. Afterwards, she had kind words for everyone on EC Revenge's team. Uh, Dave has been very good. 
to help me and to be good to me, you know, and I appreciate. And then my vet, too. Jay Ross was my vet. So between the two of them, they've led this poor little ignorant lady along because I didn't know anything about racehorses until I got in, into it. I still don't know a lot, but... Uh, well, it takes a good team. And I've got a good team, and, and then the jockey is great. So, oh, what could I ask for anything better? <laughs> As for the winning jockey, James Flores won half of the 12 races on Saturday, including four stakes. He said his horse was a bit fractious here in the stall, but credited the gate crew with getting them off well. Yeah, a little, actually got a little antsy in the gate, but I mean, the starter did an excellent job of making sure we were all squared up, and the assistant starter did an excellent job of, uh, of making sure the horse was just on point as soon as they, as soon as they kicked the gates open, and man, he just left in front, and he saw the front, and he just, he took the win home. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at OQHRA.com. All in. They're off, and the SLM Big Daddy takes flight to La Jolla Rockets away. Out by two links in the opening strides right in the middle of the track. Moving well outside, coming on rock about it. Saginaw Creek from the inside. Bye bye freight train, Willie Rush all in competition. So is Better Make You Famous. On the lead, Saginaw Creek by a little more than a link. Trying to come on, still inside. Bye bye freight train. And on the outside rolling, that is rock about it, rock about it. Going on by, rock about it will score for the second year in a row to win it by a half length in the SLM Big Daddy. They're off in the Mighty Deck 3 stakes. Good start. Away sharply toward the outside. First to 15 and PV Queen to be candy. Inside battling on. Admiral Sting now goes to the front. It's Admiral Sting on top. Here's PV Queen to be candy outside. Admiral Sting prevails in the Mighty Deck 3 by three quarters of a length. They're off. Speed Horse Graham, Paint Appaloosa Derby, great start for Cap Attack, out there early by a neck. Now coming on, Memories of Little Hero, Bullet Bonnie in the mix, and a run inside now from RP Live Wire Dash. Bullet Bonnie, nose to nose, with Memories of Little Hero, and Bullet Bonnie reaching down to find more. It's Bullet Bonnie and James Flores going on to win it by a long neck. They're off in the Oklahoma Paint, Appaloosa Futurity. Good start by Babe Wired at the Rail Seal Victoria's Secret rolling along now. Farther out, a big run by He's a Fancy PYC. It's Seal Victoria's Secret giving way to the outside. He's a Fancy PYC coming on. Here's DTL chasing tail with a big push at the end. DTL chasing tail gets up. Bye, Nick. The wrap up accelerated is sponsored by Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Remington Park Racing Casino, and by American Quarter Horse Association. Coming up at Remington Park, midweek stakes on April 4th with the Grade 2 Paul's Valley at 870 yards and the restricted Grade 2 Mr. Jet Moore. Then trials for the Grade 1 Remington Park Oklahoma Bred Futurity on the 5th and 6th. On April 7th, it's trials for the Grade 3 Remington Park Oklahoma Bred Derby. That's it for our first edition of the Wrap-Up Accelerated. Be sure to follow RaceView Network for our other series, including Inside, the Wrap-Up, a fixture from previous years, and later the AQHA Racing Challenge Update. I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>